Hi everyone and welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Erin and today we're going to learn about river habitats while feeding our spotted turtles August and October. Let's get started. So we are at the Mysteries of the Marsh and we are taking a peek at our spotted turtles. Our spotted turtles are a native species to Illinois. They are an endangered species. So these two are our animal ambassadors. We have August and October. They live in a very specific habitat in the Mysteries of the Marsh exhibit here at the Nature Museum. They have a moving waterway and a basking rock. So spotted turtles are always going to be found in the water or in a source of water. Usually streams, wet prairies, wetlands of any kinds, creeks, and rivers. So some of the features of a spotted turtle is number one, their spots. So they are kind of decorated in these yellow splashes. They're gonna grow more of those as they get older. And since we're talking about their shells and looking at these polka dots they have, does anyone know the name for the top part of a turtle shell? It's got a funny name. So the top part of a turtle shell is called the carapace. And their bottom shell, they do have shells on their belly too. Does anyone know the name for the belly shell of a turtle? Also a funny name. So the belly shell is called the plastron. So plastrons are shells that protect their bellies. The carapace is the top part of the shell that protects them from above. So these two turtles, August and October, are also kind of showing off their feet. So their feet tell us a lot about where they live. You can see that there's some claws. Turtles do have claws like other animals. They have webbed toes, so they've got a bit of skin that connects all their toes if they splay them out. These act like paddles in the water. Another feature I want to talk about for these spotted turtles are their mouths. Has anyone ever seen turtle teeth? It's a tricky question. They do not have turtle teeth at all. There's no such thing as a turtle tooth. Instead, they have beaks. Really similar to how a parrot has a beak, it's a very powerful tool can grasp anything, cut into anything, and hold any moving prey. So a beak is an excellent tool for a turtle to have and for omnivores to have. So today the turtles are gonna be using their beaks to bite down on some of their favorite food, the mealworm. But in the wild, they could use them on tadpoles, cranberries, anything they might find in the water. While I'm feeding these spotted turtles, I do want you to take a close look again at those powerful beaks they have. So you'll see how they kind of clamp on. <laughs> and then they'll take that mealworm into the water. So I might feed those worms to these turtles above the surface, but they will take the worm into the water and then swallow it there because the water actually helps these turtles swallow their food. So have any of you gone swimming in a pool or a lake or the ocean and noticed that you can jump a lot higher when you're underwater than you could on land? The same kind of concept or same idea happens here with these turtles. Whoops, there one goes into the water and that is A-OK -okay because that allows them to practice their hunting skills. And you saw that looks like August took care of that worm that was in the water fairly easily. And here's that beak really working to catch this worm. There they go, and they take it underneath the surface of the water again. And you'll notice during the feeding that they can be very fast when they want to be. I've seen a lot of cartoons and a lot of movies in which turtles move very, very slowly. If you're a turtle and you're swimming around in your creek or your stream and you notice food going by very quickly, you want to be just as fast so that you can catch it and have some lunch. When they need to be, turtles can go very quick. That's our show for today, and thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the animal feeding with August and October, and be sure to leave any comments or questions below. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.